everybody. This is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today we're going to be in John chapter 8. I'm going to read verses 34 through 38 again, like I did yesterday, but it's got another great point to make. It reads, Jesus answered them, truly, truly, I say to you, or amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin, so in bondage to it, the slave does not remain in the house forever. The sun remains forever. So if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. Again, great words. I love those words. I know that you are offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me because my word finds no place in you. I speak of what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have heard from your father. I <laughs> love that last line there. We're going to focus on that today. So in yesterday's devotional, we discussed that to know who Jesus is, these people must first know who they are, right? And Jesus told us who they are is determined by the things that they do. What they do is sin. Therefore, who they are are slaves to sin. But Jesus takes this one step further to clarify what this means about who they are from. And remember, they're putting up a big case and argument about who they are from. They think their father is Abraham. But because they have made all these wrong assumptions about their morality clouded by their self-righteousness, they don't realize who their father actually is. And this is the real punch in the face here. Jesus tells them who their father is, and it's not Abraham. It's Satan, the father of lies. And honestly, I don't think they catch it in this moment. And what Jesus is doing here is he's driving these so-called new believers, casual believers, toward genuine belief. He's helping them to see that verbal assent is not belief, not at all. Verbal assent is not belief at all, fellas. True belief understands some certainties, right? What they do affects who they are, declares who they follow, and drives them to believe in the need for a Savior and a Lord. A Savior who saves them from the certainties of their sin and selfishness, and a Lord who determines their actions into the indefinite future. Now, this is believing. And it's not easy believism, by the way. This is no ordinary call to salvation, fellas. You don't hear a call to salvation like this today. This is different from the call to salvation that we hear from most platforms that pastors preach about today. I mean, when's the last time you ever heard someone from a platform say, you're going to hell because your father is Satan and then calls you into belief? When have you ever heard someone do that? No one does that, but Jesus did. And here is what makes this hard for some to believe. When we trace our actions and our heritage back on Ancestry.com, we have only two beginnings. That's what Jesus is telling us. Your heritage begins either with Satan or it starts with God, which makes you a son of one or a son of the other. And most people have a hard time accepting that their actions are immoral enough that they can actually admit they're sons of Satan, sons of the devil. But if we can come to terms with this and accept that we are all sons of the devil, as taught in scripture, we will and should run as fast as possible to a Savior and Lord. And fellas, that's belief. It's belief that rewrites our history, our heritage, and our inheritance. And fellas, run to that today. <laughs> run to it. No one preaches like this, by the way. Who preaches like this? No one, not even me. I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share it with someone else. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.